But if he can pull the weekend, she screaming out poppy every time a nigga deep in. And I'm about to get my bill clicking on Henry to ride two boys, get my pimping on. Y'all used to love that little song. But you about to have a little chit chat, chit chat, um, the talks. I'm gonna say, that's what I'm gonna call it. The talks with says. The talks with says. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna call it. And y'all, this light is hitting. But <laughs> what's up, y'all? It's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another one. Straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for your girl. <laughs> So I am back from Atlanta. I miss Atlanta. Um, I really enjoyed Atlanta for real, for real. I'm I'm really potentially trying to move out there, but we already know how they go. But um, I'm eating the Popeye's chicken sandwich again. I done got addicted. I see what I see what people talk about. What people put talk, be talk about. But I done got addicted again. Um, I'm not supposed to be eating this. I just went healthy grocery shopping, like I got groceries in my bag or whatever. And I'm not supposed to be eating this, but I just had to get it. This is my dinner. This is gonna be my my dinner. But I just had to catch that light. Okay. But um, we are about to talk about um relationships, like not relationships like a whole, cause I'm not in a relationship, so I can't speak on relationships like that, like that. But I can speak on from what I know, um, my mentors and their relationships, and like you know different like things like that so um what i'm about to i'm about to say what i think females look for in men what well what females look for in men and what i look for in men so i think in general people you know females we look for somebody that you know can um be respectful be loyal um is trustworthy um honest and most of all, like a good best friend, like a best friend, you know, you don't want a relationship without someone that, you know, you you have no connection with. I would say just be someone's friend. And I think that's what a lot of relationships lack. And that's what this generation now lack for real, for real. Like they have dudes like nowadays, like they don't understand like what, what friendship mean. Like they be so quick to like, man, let's fuck up. Uh, you know, uh, when I'm come seeing you, when I'm come see you, um, let's chill or something like that. And everybody know when they say let's chill, uh, pull up, pull up on me. Everybody already know what they mean. But you know, niggas is niggas act dumb or whatever. But um, mm. baby girl. Mm. See, I got this. I got this in Atlanta. Leaving the celebrity basketball game. I got Popeyes. And they stuff was not hitting on nothing. Like, I don't know if I I said spi spicy or not. But I, I know I specifically said spicy because I like spicy food. Look where I'm from. And they gave me a regular chicken sandwich. And it was like semi-cold like i wanted to bring it back so bad but <laughs> i didn't want to waste no time i was hungry well mm. this uh, is good this one is good for real look at look at but but i'm about to say what i look for in i mean I look for someone to have goals. Like you have to have goals. Like it don't matter if it's a job. It don't matter if it's college, because I'm in college too. A senior, your girl is a senior, about to graduate soon. Um, what else? I look for someone to be well educated. Um, tall, nice teeth, like me. Like nice tea, keep themselves up. It's all about like good hygiene. I mean, and it goes for women too. And most definitely, you gotta keep herself up. 
like for real for real but i'm gonna need you know <laughs> equality i need for a man to keep himself up so yeah that's just basically what i look for and i don't i, I don't think i have you know people always say your standards is too high you got high standards and all of that no i don't have high standards but i'm not about to lower my standards for these dudes like they are some nice gentlemen some nice little some nice respectful young men out there but nowadays all you get is the people that just be ready to have sex like for real for real mm. I don't understand. It. I don't. But um also also um so my things are you have to have goals, nice seat, good hygiene, tall and that's pretty much it with me yep that's pretty much it yep like and i mean goals like nigga i'm trying to build with you like let's build with each other that's what i mean by that um but like i honestly think that you know and it do be females too but it's not me but i honestly think men are scared of rejection i mean ain't nothing wrong with that or whatever and i know me and i know how i am and i know i just be shutting dudes down but i don't mean it in a bad way it's just that i'm not about to lower my standards and these niggas nowadays ain't shit like they're not shit like i don't i don't i don't know what it is like i don't know what it is but um i don't know but um I really, I really, really, really want to be in a relationship. Like, is it, is it, am, am I asking for too much? But, um, this not, don't have nothing to do with, this don't have nothing to do with me. Anyways, yeah, I think that men are scared of rejection. And some men, some women are too. Not me, because, I mean, if I, if I really, I mean, and my friends could justify, if I really find someone attractive and I'm like, you know, they, they look like they got some goals, they look like they keep themselves up. You know, I'ma either ask you, you know, how you doing? My name is such and such. You know, what's your number or something like that? If they turn me down, I mean, what's the worst thing they can say? The worst thing they can say is no. Like, I'm not scared of rejection at all. Well, and that goes to my next thing. Who should make the first move? Mm. Y'all. When y'all get chicken from Popeyes, any kind of chicken, make sure y'all get the sweet heat sauce. I love this sauce so much. I can I can fuck that up. Like <laughs> that, chicken, that that sauce is so good. I get it for my chicken. Like if I get chicken or I you know this chicken sandwich, I put it on there. No pickles, because the pickles be nasty. Tastes so like cucumbers. That goes for my next thing. Who should make the who should make the first move either like going for like a relationship or like trying to be in a relationship or like a dating stage and stuff like that i think the first move should come from i don't know that's kind of hard if you're really feeling that person don't be scared to make the first move don't be scared to you know ask for that person number don't be scared to get that person a hug get that person a handshake take um take the person on the um date or whatever don't be scared to take the initiative and i'm not anybody knows me knows i love like planning things and going on dates and stuff like that but in order for me to spend my time with a dude i have to be really like really in tune like in tune and you and stuff like that like there's so many dudes so many dudes that i talk to that are really nice dudes but they just don't click like they don't click like like i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but like the the one of the dudes i was talking to it was his age it's like 
I date older, but not like 10, 11 years older. Like, that's just, it's not unattractive, but it's like, nigga, we don't have nothing in common. You know, like, I was a, I'm a 90s baby. You a 80s baby. <laughs> like, nigga, no. You could be my uncle or something. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But um yeah. Like I just don't know what it is. But yeah, I don't I think yeah, that's kind of hard. You know, yeah, that's kind of hard like who should who should take the initiative? Who should make the first move? Um if you're really feeling that person, I think that whoever I mean y'all should have a talk. Well, I don't know cuz that's that's hard. That's hard. But I hope y'all enjoy the talks which says it will be a lot more of these y'all as y'all can see i love sitting in the car i can sit in the car and do pretty much anything i can sleep in the car dance in the car listen to my own music my own vibes ain't gonna hit nobody mouth i love sitting in the car just doing whatever but make sure like i said in a in the video last um in the video before this one um I really do want to send a special shout out to I am just Airy and Vanessa Lynn and Shy the Greatest. I didn't really get a chance to talk with Shy as much as I did with Vanessa and Airy, but I really hope like one day, um, that's gonna be my new friends. That's gonna be my new sisters, like for real, for real. If y'all didn't know, speak it to existence. But um, they really like. You know, it's really said the I commend them, you know. Like we we had a good little talk. We had a good little talk, I ain't gonna lie. But um yeah, I really wanna send a special shout out to them. Um and I thank them with uh y'all need to watch my phone on this. Men and women. It's fucking crazy. But I love y'all. Stay tuned for more content or whatever. I'll be back in Atlanta soon. Atlanta, this is not the first time you will see this face. <sighs> It'll be a lot more sex. But, um, and I'll be potentially moving out after I graduate. But I love y'all. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to come join. Wait. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to come join Life of Sassy and come join the plush gang. 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 And until then, I love y'all. And we out. Oh, special shout out to the people who just subscribed to my channel like recently um i love y'all thank you for coming join with thank you for joining us i appreciate y'all so much keep supporting like keep liking the videos keep sharing the videos make sure you tell a friend um you know to come join keep come join you know nothing wrong with your girl but i love y'all and we out Three cups. Gang. Uh, Gang. I got. Gang.